We recording? Yep. Okay. Fly, 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 con la vida, vida de la baila, cura con la guaira, limpia, limpia, taita, vibrando con la walca. Okay, so firstly, thanks for taking the time to chat. Um, obviously, this is the last day of my experience, which has been amazing and super profound. And I really just want to like bring this information to more people um, back at home. That's one of the kind of um, mm -hmm. thoughts that I've had while doing the ayahuasca. So um, just to give us a little bit more information on ayahuasca, what actually is ayahuasca? Uh, well, thank you for having me on this podcast, Emma. Um, my Irish is not that good, but uh, <laughs> I'll do my best. Uh, well, ayahuasca is a brew. It's a, it's a, generally, traditionally, it's a mix of two plants boiled together for several days and it forms that, that sort of thick viscous drink that, that you drink. What, um, what it's made of is two ingredients. One is the ayahuasca vine, uh, which is scientifically called Banisteriopsis capi, and a uh, DMT shrub, which can be chagro or chacruna. Oh depending on a tradition. Like here, we, we use chagro, chagro panga. Okay. What, what the vine does, it makes the DMT orally active. And then when you, when you drink it, you, you can have a DMT experience for several hours. And it's traditionally used by the indigenous tribes. It's, it's uh, traced to like 4,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, is, it, is a, it is 100% a medicine, not a drug, because mm -hmm. uh, that's how it's always been used. And yeah, it's, it's helpful with uh, you know your your mental health and and a lot of other things it's it's like a very complex sort of medicine that addresses many many aspects of uh, mm. both physical mental mm. health and so much more spiritual mm. spiritual health if you can say so yeah so you said it it affects the the DMT receptors so yeah like 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 how how does it work what are the effects of ayahuasca on mm -hmm. on your mind and your body so basically, we have, we have DMT in, in our bodies naturally. So mm -hmm. let's say when you're sleeping, you get DMT produced in your in your brain, mm -hmm. and what happens is your your body absorbs DMT. Mm -hmm. What what the vine does, it makes it so that for for a while you can't absorb it, so it accumulates and it actually creates the the experience. But um, what was the question? How the ask it feels so like? So how 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 would it like affect your yeah? How does it affect your body and your mind? Yeah. Well, generally, it uh, it comes uh, with with few with few effects. One of them is physical purging, meaning uh, it's it's pretty likely sometimes during the retreat you'll either vomit or have like a mm -hmm. like a diarrhea. Mm -hmm. And I know it sounds very uncomfortable, something you wouldn't want to do, but it's always tied to to a certain emotion that then you can feel how how together with uh, with that bodily evacuation you also <laughs> yeah. get rid of that emotion <laughs> and a lot of time people report like they have a trauma or, mm. or they feel mm. uh, some they have some traumatic memory come come up and then they they purge and then mm. when when it when it comes back it's now it's just a memory it doesn't have yeah. that emotional component to it but generally ayahuasca effect can be there's like 50 hundred different types of, uh, of effects it can have it can be like very visual very psychedelic it can be just in forms of like physical effects, uh, like you could feel tension in your body or, or pleasure. It can be euphoria, it could be pain, it could be like literally anything. And uh, but somehow, when you come and drink the the, the brew, it uh, it always gives you what you need and yeah. the type of the experience you might not expect or want, but it will mm. give you the type of the experience that will give you the answers to your current problem that you have yeah. right now. And even if let's say you have a, an intention set for the ceremony. And it might be not not the right intention for you. The medicine will guide you where you need to go. And sometimes you will, if you don't resist the process, you will in the end understand like why it was supposed to happen exactly like that. Mm -hmm. I'll ask you a question as well. You just you just had your experience. Uh, how did it feel for you? I it was definitely different than what I had expected. Like I think I at the start I was forming my expectations based on what other people were experiencing but by the end of like the four ceremonies I feel like I had gotten exactly what I had asked for um, and it was definitely one of those like be careful what you wish for a moment because 
yeah, I really, I, I, I went into ayahuasca saying, I don't want any more answers. I don't want any more words. I would like feeling. I would like experiences. I would like clarity. I would like direction. And because it wasn't psychedelic and I wasn't like tripping, I was like, I'm not experiencing. But when I take away and have done like the integration work, I've realized like how profound it actually was. So yeah, it's it's been incredible to see how other people have experienced it as well, like compared to mine. But would you recommend, like who would you recommend ayahuasca for? Like who would you recommend to do it? And is it safe for everyone? Uh, ayahuasca is safe for, I would say 95% of people. Mm. So it, it, don't do it if you have a uh, history of schizophrenia in your family yeah. like your brother and your mom has it and mm. you're you're next in line and yeah. because it can it's not gonna give you schizophrenia but if you're you're supposed to have it sometime yes. in your life it can accelerate that process yeah. don't do it if you are um, uh, if you have like serious health conditions like heart issues mm. and then also uh, don't do it if you're taking medication so yeah, you, SRIs, you need to quit the medication first yeah. uh, SSRIs and and other like thyroid medications, the, mm. the interaction between the medication can be dangerous. But mm. for for an average uh, healthy person, uh, it's it's completely safe. And uh, we so far had probably more than a thousand people come to our retreat and never had any issue yeah. with like medical point of view. Ayahuasca, when, when you have a good shaman, mm. a, a pure ayahuasca without any additives, mm. and you have a good preparation process where, you know, as, as we guide people, tell them what to eat, what mm. not to eat, mm. what medicines not to take, Mm. It's actually very, very, very safe. It's yeah. safer than, I don't know, like, uh, Any of the drugs that you know, eating, eating a, uh, eating a yeah. fish in like a, a Mexican <laughs> beach town, like yeah. more likely to kill you. Yeah, yeah. How long does the experience usually last for people? It depends. So if you have one cup, generally one cup can, the effect of one cup can last any time, anywhere between four and six hours. But mm. if let's say we have three cups over the night, uh, starting from first cup and then more cups, it can altogether last eight to 10 hours. Mm, mm, That's mm. expected. How long did it last for you? Cause yeah, the, the first cup on my first night, I felt like super sick. Um, but then the second cup, I, it started, I think to kind of hit me more. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, like I, I would say it takes a while to set in, like maybe 30, 30 minutes to an hour and then to get the actual like deep thinking and clarity mm -hmm. and stuff would probably about an hour or two. Yeah, it's but very, I, it's very I unique to... I like how to... we separate the cups though, like every two hours, I yeah. think is a good time. It's, it's very well planned because based on, you know, many ceremonies and many observations, because sometimes mm -hmm. uh, the danger is somebody takes one cup and they, and it sort of hits them an hour later, if by then you took a second cup, you don't, you kind of go too deep where mm. your your journey is not productive anymore. Yes. You 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 might be seeing so much, but then you don't remember anything, yeah. or you know lose control of your body. Like mm. you tr you wanna you always try and find what what our shaman does. He's great at it. Mm. He's trying to find a a level where people have a productive journey. Mm. Like they they mm. see enough and feel enough where they actually can draw some conclusions to affect their life uh, mm. for this. It's not about just having a vision and like mm. moving on with your life. It's mm. about, you know, uh, using those lessons in your, in your, in your life back, mm. back at home. Mm. Yeah, I found the shaman really actually took care. Like he would, before he would give you the cup, he would say, how are you feeling? Like, are you good? Are mm -hmm. you okay? And yeah, I really, really felt safe with him, which was great. So, um, so the effects on mental illness, depression. Like this is, I think, why a lot of people come and do ayahuasca. Mm -hmm. What would you say the effects are on mental illnesses and depression? So I personally, my journey with ayahuasca be began based on that. Like I, I started drinking regularly when I realized I was depressed. Mm -hmm. Like I was never diagnosed, but now, especially working with hundreds of people that are depressed, like I know I was 100% depressed. Mm -hmm. What it did to me personally, at first it just took away the pain, right? It mm -hmm. just makes you feel better. And then it shows you what to do to change your life where you're not prone to depression anymore. Because a lot, of, a lot of time depression comes from uh, certain repressed emotions, yeah. uh, like unsatis greater unsatisfaction with your life where you just sort of, it comes out as a form of depression or anxiety. So in my case, it sort of first took, lifted the pain and like allowed me to actually 
lifted the pain and gave me the lessons yeah. and that lack of pain allowed me to actually do do Some the lessons, lessons yeah. and uh, and change my life enough where they, it gave me the, the direction life as well it helped mm. me found, find it mm. where eventually like I would say I'm definitely no longer depressed yeah you've still it's not like oh you're gonna be happy forever mm. um, but it's uh, I know more. I know more about my feelings now. I can identify like, oh, what I'm feeling actually is fear, or what I'm feeling. Where, where back, back in the day, I felt I could not even identify emotions. Mm -hmm. Like all emotions just felt like discomfort. So yeah. that's that's another thing ayahuasca does. But it can be unique for all the people. But we have a lot of people that come here for depression, mm -hmm. anxiety, even like suicidal ideation. Mm -hmm. Like we had mm -hmm. probably more than ten people that came here and said like. If it doesn't work, I, I have one way ticket. I'm not gonna, yeah. like, I'm just, I'm ending it. Like, it's yeah. it's my last resort. Yeah. All of them are still alive, running around, mm. happy. Mm. Better than, than ever before. I've seen it, I've literally seen it in this group. Even like. in this group, there were people, it's not as because like, he didn't specifically say that, yeah. but people actually say that, like last month, uh, we had two people in two different yeah. groups. They're like, yeah, yeah. if it, this doesn't work, I mean, mm. I'm desperate, life is too miserable. And then by the end of it, they're like, I know for sure that now there, I know there's options for healing and I know that that I'm going to fix myself. And mm. it's not only depression, it's alcoholism, PTSD, mm. Mm. any kinds of addiction. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's such a diverse tool, even like physical ailments, like we had people get relief from, relief from psoriasis, uh, heard, gut issues. Like this, uh, I forgot the name, but it's like when when your when your body hurts, Arthritis, anything fibromyalgia, a fibromyalgia, mm -hmm. anything that comes, anything any disease that is somatic, which it comes from an emotion first. Yeah. If you address the emotion, you process it, the diseases magically go away. Like yeah. even my mom came to drink ayahuasca, and she she had like relief from headaches, mm. uh, migraines. That's what I would like to know. Like, would it be safe for old people? Like, you know. Yeah, like older people who probably are prone to like high blood pressure or like have real illnesses and diseases like cancer. I know one of the guys here is here trying to find answers mm -hmm. for his cancer treatment and yeah. We had more than five people visiting that are there were more than seventy. Really? And probably at least twenty, thirty people that were older than sixty. Wow. And they're all totally fine. Yeah. It's actually sometimes surprisingly they have a better experience than, than younger people. <laughs> But a lot of times it comes with a lot of purging because yeah. like there's accumulation a lot of stuff. Uh, and uh, they're, they're doing just fine. Yeah. It's, it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with age. You can drink ayahuasca from the moment you're born mm. till the moment you die. The oldest shaman here in Colombia is 110. Oh my God, he's Meaning still alive? He, he drinks the medicine, he gives it, he still holds the ceremony. And you wow. know, it's a, it's a hard job to do, like yeah. doing all the cleanses. So it, it definitely... I would say ayahuasca is great for older people because it also has that effect of uh, on your brain that is kind of like anti-Alzheimer, anti-dementia yeah. because it does something to the brain. It's called like BDNF, like uh, mm. it increases your brain flexibility and allows it to like recover itself. There's actually yeah. studies about it. It's not just yeah. like yeah. Yeah. me coming up with it. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, unless you're like really, really sick, let's say you're on the border of dying, then ayahuasca can sort of push you over it because it is like your heart rate will increase mm -hmm. or you're taking like tons of medicines, then it would be tough. But if you're, if you're older, but you're relatively sick, that's mm -hmm. totally fine. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. like, yeah, I think the oldest we had was 73. Wow, mm -hmm. that's incredible. Would you recommend for everyone to come into ayahuasca with an intention? Or do you think it's something that like everyone can just try? No. Um, well, it's it's interesting because your intention can be finding an intention. Mm -hmm. Like you can always come up with intention. Intention mm -hmm. is not is not that thing. It's like oh, it's not like Google. You ask a question, you get an answer. Mm -hmm. Intention is more of a anchor for you yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's like you treat the medicine with a reverence because yeah. if you just come and you're like, oh, let's do this drug and like hang out, you'll have a terrible experience. Because yeah. I was because like, oh, you disrespect me? Like, I'm going to show you. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, so you need to have um, reverence and, and that's why you set an intention. Mm. And it might not answer, it might say like, yeah, you know, this is not relevant. But even setting an intention of like, you know, teach me something about me or like, mm. show me how to be happier in my life or like, mm. you know, show me what 
should be my intention yeah. is also yeah. an intention. Right. It's 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 about that thing where you go deep in your journey, yeah. you have that anchor and you can reach out to it and be like, oh, this is why I'm here for. Mm -hmm. Because if you're if you go and like have a turbulent times with ayahuasca and you have no no intention, no direction, then you'll 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 more likely want to like give up and run yeah. away yeah. instead of like plowing through and getting the actual mm -hmm. fruits of the of the labor. Because it does take work. Like it yeah. takes a lot of inner work inside and outside i think even with the integration work and the word circles they've been profound as well it's a spiritual work sometimes mm, yeah it's hard to explain yeah um is it so it's legal to consume in colombia anyway mm -hmm. and yeah but from from a shaman so yeah so here in colombia like in Peru, for example, it's like completely legal and they sell it in the markets, which is no reckless, way. extremely reckless because ayahuasca has to be taken with uh, with reverence and it's not it's not dangerous when you have a good shaman, good medicine and like proper team to control yeah. you, but it can be extremely dangerous. If you drink it alone at home, you can jump out a window, believe me, you can fly. You need imagine. somebody to control you both on like a physical realm, yeah. make sure you're safe and also on like Support a spiritual realm because a shaman creates sort of a barrier where bad things can come out but not come in okay. and uh, here in Colombia they I think they're doing a great job with like how difficult it is to become a real shaman like mm -hmm. you need to come from a lineage you need to have um, a permission from your indigenous council mm -hmm. like in Peru we had a girl that came here and drank ayahuasca here for the first time then went to Peru and three months later some guy or some organization gave, gave her, her a, shaman gave her a paper like she can serve medicine there's a lot of don't, that in Ireland don't well. do it don't yeah. do it because <laughs> honestly it it might be okay for a while mm -hmm. they will give medicine to people and it, it all seems nice and dandy mm -hmm. but then something will happen and somebody might die mm -hmm. like literally you can you yeah. can die because of not having a real shaman or a person who knows what they're doing so mm -hmm. please don't do it I would say if you're choosing a shaman, it doesn't have to be with us, but mm -hmm. look for someone who's indigenous, somebody who has at least 10 years of practice as a shaman, mm -hmm. not somebody who just drank ayahuasca once and feels mm -hmm. like they can give you the medicine. Yeah. Look for a place that has good integration, that they focus on that. Look for a place that has a big team of, uh, of uh, facilitators that can like control you physically to make sure you don't just run away in the jungle and get lost and like, or go on the, on the road and get hit by a car. Mm. Um, and obviously a place with a lot, a lot, a lot of good references. Like, mm. you look for look for references. Don't just go, some people go to jungle, they arrive to like a bus terminal and the people like ayahuasca and they, and they just go. If somebody's indigenous and has a lot of uh, bracelets and colors, doesn't mean they're a taita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, being a taita is something really hard to understand unless you're, you're working in that space. Mm. So anyone can pretend to be one. Mm. I could pretend to be one and sometimes people come to the retreat they assume I'm going to give them medicine mm. like uh, don't do it this mm. is where it becomes dangerous mm. so mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but I think I lost the original question no no uh, yeah so it is legal in Colombia yeah as long as you have a shaman that has a permit from mm. his indigenous council mm. uh, and generally for a shaman to get this person uh, this permit he needs to have a permit from another uh, shaman who's older than him and it goes like this so for example fernando has a permit from his dad yeah. because he tried he started uh, working with ayahuasca when he was seven he went to the special school that's called fundacion okay. when they drink ayahuasca three times a week for like 12 years non-stop wow. then he was a shaman he traveled all over the world for like five years giving yeah. medicine so like this is gold standard like mm -hmm. indigenous lives in a jungle, comes from a jungle, cooks and grows his own medicine mm. and has has a permit and knows what he's doing and you know yeah, on top of that like. you can know that like, while well, this guy dedicated his life mm. to his like he can play all those musical instruments mm. and like mm. also like mm. yeah but um, it is legal here in Colombia when it's done right mm. Mm. so what what should I be implementing as someone coming out of an ayahuasca retreat like integration wise we've obviously mm -hmm. done a lot of word circles we're doing a lot of journaling answer, answering questions um, what can I expect after this and what should I be implementing well integration is uh, is a complex subject like, it's really hard to explain what it is and some people think that integration is doing something yeah sometimes integration is as simple as not doing anything at all yeah so if you just if you go now to a hotel in, in a city, 
just sit on the balcony, take your journal and just think. Mm -hmm. Just think about things you saw, about your life. Mm -hmm. This is already integration. Doing nothing is integration. Mm -hmm. Sitting on your phone is not integration. No. Uh, but if you want to take it, uh, take it, take it more and have it more more powerful. Integration is taking the information you got from the medicine and implementing it back into your life, mm -hmm. like translating it from short form memory to long term memory. Mm -hmm. So what helps with that would be journaling, mm -hmm. walks in the nature, mm -hmm. meditation, mm -hmm. yoga, breathing exercises. Mm -hmm or any kinds of spiritual practice like doing rapé or, or doing a tobacco ceremony, just mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. anything where you give time for yourself and you can think about your life and like sort of zoom out and look at the larger picture. Yeah. And, and especially like implementing the, the advice that medicine gave you because a lot of times people get uh, amazing advice. They're mm -hmm. like, oh, I, need, I know exactly now what I need to do and then they don't do anything. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not gonna change. <laughs> and if you go back and drink ayahuasca, ayahuasca will tell you like, I gave you homework, you know, why, why are you back so soon? One of the guys said that he was like, um, he was like, he said, told, said that the ayahuasca said to him, why are you asking me this when you didn't implement what I told you the last yeah. time? It is, yeah. ayahuasca is like that. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's like we call it tough love, you know. Oh, it's yeah. A, yeah. He'll give you an advice, he'll tell you what to do, but if you, if you don't do it, then he'll be like frustrated mm. and he'll mm. give you a bad trip <laughs> as a lesson. <laughs> Payback. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, this has honestly been probably one of the best experiences of, of my life and I will definitely be back and I've learned so much. I can't wait to like bring this information back to my community and my world and yeah. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for coming and uh, definitely spread the world, you know, uh, spread the word. world needs ayahuasca, I do believe. Yeah. Like we are all uh, somewhat depressed, somewhat anxious, somewhat unhappy. Like uh, on the surface, we are as, uh, as rich, as successful as we always were. And there is abundance of food and everything. Yeah. But emotionally, the world People is sort of screwed. We have a yeah. emotional health uh, crisis right now in the Western world specifically. And there is nothing that seems to be helping except mm -hmm. for this, like, you know, therapy. Mm -hmm. People, a lot of people, even this here in your group, you heard, you heard people saying like, oh, it felt like 10 years of therapy. Yeah. Because it absolutely is. I don't say anything bad about therapy, mm -hmm. but if you come do ayahuasca and then go back to therapy, <laughs> it will be it like 10 times more, yeah. 10 times more uh, productive. Mm -hmm. We need it. We need to sort of stop and listen and dedicate time to ourselves for our own healing. Like me, myself, I was running like a hamster in a wheel for mm -hmm. 10 years, just mm -hmm. making money and buying things mm -hmm. and being successful on the mm -hmm. surface while I was miserable inside. And I didn't know why I was doing it. It's yeah. just that society told me like, oh, you do that, you'll get happy. And then eventually when I, when I achieved all those superficial goals that were mm -hmm. set for me, you know, by my family and mm -hmm. the society at large, I was like, well, I have it all now. Where is my yeah. happiness? Yeah. Happiness never came. So. You, uh, happiness is not about buying things or achieving things mm -hmm. and um, yeah I, I, commend, I recommend to everyone to you know take take a week off your life mm -hmm. in a year and do this re re introspection mm -hmm. uh, drink the medicine uh, if it calls for you if not you, do, you don't even need uh, you, you don't necessarily need that you can you can start by doing something simple as just uh, you know picking up meditation yeah. or a good habit. A good habit, journaling, yoga, you know, all those things that talk to you about time, yeah. and you want to start on like January 1st, just pick one and just start. And, and if eventually you come to, to ayahuasca, it will, it will definitely help you with, uh, with the mental health and, yeah. and just health in general, just like happiness, just mm. being connected to nature. Yeah. I think there's something powerful even about just saying this week is for me i'm committing to this i'm taking this week off like yeah. putting the phone away has just been so powerful as well yeah when, when is the last time you gave you gave uh yourself. time for yourself yeah. and by giving time to yourself i don't mean like going to drink with friends yeah. because it's it's not for yourself mm -hmm. like dedicating time to your own healing mm -hmm. like when was the last time you said like i'm gonna take two weeks off and i'm just gonna look inside and heal myself mm -hmm. like this by itself even if people like let's say you come here you just be in the nature mm -hmm. and you do the word circles and you talk to people that are all on the path of healing mm -hmm. that is healing in itself mm -hmm. like when was the last time you did it uh, we we don't have that in our society no. there is no there is nobody that tells you like oh you need to do it it's just and we're missing that and mm -hmm. this is what we're trying to create and sort of accommodate yeah. for so yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you for giving yourself that week. Yeah. 
and uh, I hope you come back and, I'll be back. and go deeper. I will be back for sure. Oh, and bring some Guinness. And bring some Guinness. <laughs> no. Oh my God, I'm not sure that would go well with the IM, but... <laughs> no, no, that's for me uh, for later. <laughs> for you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much, Sam. You legend. Thank you, Emma. Yeah. And, uh, you know, thank you for spreading the message. Yeah, I can't wait to bring this back home. And, like, that was definitely the most powerful thing is, like, you need to... You need to go back home and, mm -hmm. and tell people about this. So, Definitely. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Trae na na con la vida, vida de la baila, cura con la guaira, limpia limpia taita, vibrando con la.